Hello everyone, my name is Tyler with My Computer Works, and welcome to today's tutorial. Today I'm doing a follow-up video to a, a really long video I did a little bit ago. Uh, it's a popular video, but I feel like it'd be even more popular if I shortened it down and actually showed the meat and potatoes of the issue, which is moving your data from one computer to another. And right now, that's, that's a pretty hot topic because a lot of people are moving from Windows 10 to Windows 11, right? And nobody wants to lose their stuff as they tr make that transition, okay? And a lot of people out there get confused when it comes to backup and restore and how to, how to actually get your stuff to that new computer, okay? So one of the first things that we're gonna need or you will need if you're gonna do this is a drive, right? So like I have an external drive here. You might not have a lot of data. You might be able to get away with a little flash drive, right? One of these little guys that you plug into your computer. Either way. Well, you're gonna need one. You're gonna need one of these. You're gonna need something that can house your data uh, that's big enough to store all your data so you can then move it over to your new computer. So let me show you on screen really fast how to determine what size you actually need, right? Because you can't just go buy one. It might not be big enough. It'd be really annoying to have to move everything slow, like little by little by little, move, move, move. So you wanna get one big enough to house everything. So let's jump right into it. No more talking. I'm gonna show you on screen how to actually figure out what size you need and then make the uh, backup and restore happen. Okay, everyone, so here I am at my desktop screen. This is my Windows 10 computer. I'm gonna be moving the data to the drive to move to the Windows 11 computer, okay? So the first thing we do, again, we need to calculate what size drive we actually need. And the way that we're gonna do this is by opening up the file explorer down on the taskbar, okay? Not everybody's is on the taskbar. If you don't see your file explorer icon, the little yellow folder down there, you could hit Windows key and E, which I talk about a lot. That'll open it right up, okay? Now, once we're in here, we wanna look for the this PC option on the left side. Click on that this PC option, you'll see all these different drives right here, okay? Well, you won't, you'll have probably one or two, maybe you'll have three like I do, but the one that matters is the C drive, okay? C right here, mine's named the portal, Yours probably won't be named the portal unless you're my twin or clone or something weird like that. Uh, but I, I named mine different things, right? C though indicates usually the primary drive and then we've got the uh, Windows symbol on it to identify the fact that Windows is actually installed on that drive, okay? So I'm gonna open this one up and you can see all these folders. This is where people get lost, okay? It gets confusing in here because you're like program files. I probably need those, right? Program files times 86, probably need those too. Program data, that sounds important, but no, that's not what we're looking for, okay? When you move to a new computer, if you're worried about your programs and your applications, the reality of the situation is you're probably gonna have to reinstall all of them on the new computer. That's pretty typical. So the safe way is to move stuff from the user's folder, which is where your data is actually housed at, okay? So we need to know what size drive we need before we go buy one of these externals and or flash drives like I talked about, okay? So what we can do is we can open up this users folder or right click on it, sorry, don't open it, right click on it, go to properties, left click on that, and then let's see how much we actually need first. That's step one, I'm getting ahead of myself there, okay? So what we're gonna do is calculate the amount of data that we need. Okay, so it's calculating. There it is. 148 gigabytes is what I have on on the disk. That's the one that matters. The one that says size on disk. 148 gigabytes. That's what's actually there. Okay. So I'd need to go grab myself like a 250 gigabyte um, flash drive or hard drive just to be safe, or like 500 gigabyte external hard drive or something just to just to be safe. Um, but yeah, at least one something larger than 148, right? And you don't wanna get one too close to the mark because a lot of times you buy them and they're not quite that size. Go go a little higher, okay? So now I'm gonna hit okay on this. And the next step is I'm gonna plug in my external drive so I can do the backup. So let me do that real quick and we'll get to the next part. Okay, so I have the external drive plugged in now. I'm gonna go over to this PC again. And you can see it's it's here now, it's, it's in the computer. Bickety bickety backup sun is my backup. And I'm gonna open that up real quick. Okay, I got a bunch of 
files in here, tons and tons and files, uh, folders that have already kind of made and done over time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click into this area, this blank area here, right? And I'm going to go to new folder. Okay. You can also do it from the top. There's a, there's always the, uh, the new folder option up here and I'm going to give this a good name to stay organized. So this is going to be like a backup data to move to windows 11, right? Easy. Okay. Just something. So I know what it is. Then I'm going to open up the folder. So I'm in here. Currently it's empty. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to shorten this down. So I'm going to bring it over here. I'm going to hit my windows key in left arrow, and that's going to bring that over here. You get to see all the background of what we're doing here. Um, all right. So I got that on the left side now. And then to make things easier for myself, I'm going to make myself a little smaller here for you guys. So the next thing I want to do is open another file explorer uh, page and go back to this PC. I'm going to full screen and send this one to the right. This is just the way I like to do it to keep things organized, right? While I'm while I'm working, and I'm going to go back into C. I'm going to go to the users folder and I'm going to find my uh, user folder name. That's my old gamer tag right there. In case anybody's wondering. And here we go. Got a bunch of folders here. And this is also where people get confused. Cause again, we've got like app data in here. Some people grab that. Some people don't, you got to figure out what you need, right? I'd, I'd still recommend maybe grabbing app data just to be safe. And what you're going to do is start like, I'm going to start with videos. Okay. So I'm going to left click on videos. I'm going to right click. I'm going to copy that folder, right? And then I'm going to paste it over and there we go. So I got videos. Now I'm going to do the same thing. Right click, copy, paste pictures. Okay. I'm going to go to music and I'm going to go through and I'm going to do this for each folder until I have everything that I want. Is this the best way to back up your data? Absolutely not. Is it effective and can you do it? And is it still safe? Yes. But let's talk about which folders are safe and which are not safe. So right here, uh, over here on the screen, I'm going to show you those are the folders that are safe to, to use for this method. Okay. And this is really good for anybody who, you know, if you're just a simple user and you're like, I don't want to lose my documents. I don't want to use my, lose my pictures, music, that kind of stuff. Okay. Do it. Go through downloads, favorites, documents, desktop. These are safe folders, uh, to move over. Okay. So if they're in that list that I have on screen right now, you can do it outside of the folders that I have on screen that I'm showing how to do this. That's when things can get dicey and I wouldn't recommend it. But again, there's backup programs out there. We use Robocopy. There's, there's, there's a lot of different things out there that are better calling us here at my computer works to do your transfer for you. Also a great idea because this is, this is pretty rudimentary, but will it work for the average person who just wants to get their data moved real quick and doesn't want to mess around with all that extra stuff? Yes, this will work. It is still effective. It is okay. All right. So you can just right click and copy, but I'm saying this now because I already know the keyboard warriors are going to be down in the comments before I know it. This isn't the best method. This is not the best method. I've got this. Go check out this website. Okay. Right. Yeah. There's a lot of ways to back up your data. I'm talking about the everyday average user who doesn't really know a lot about their computer and just wants to get it done. Doesn't want to lose their documents. Doesn't want to lose their videos, pictures, things like that. Okay. Once we're done with this part, let's talk about what to do next. Now we, I'm going to eject my drive, right? So I'm, so I'm going to go down here and do it from bottom on the taskbar. Let me move my head out of the way. So I'm going to come down here. Boom. Eject external USB, which is the bickety bickety backup son. Okay. Now it's safe to remove. Okay. And we're going to move over to my windows 11 laptop. Just give me one sec while I get that fired up. Okay. So here we are now I'm on my windows 11, um, laptop. Okay. I've already plugged the drive into this computer. You can see here now bickety bickety backup sun is over on my windows 11 laptop. Okay. This is going to look more like what your C drive looks like. I haven't, I haven't named this one anything special yet. So it's just windows like yours will show up and I've got my backup drive here, um, on the, on the, on screen. Okay. 
So this part's really important. You want to you want to follow this. This is where a lot of people also go wrong. And again, this is a simple copy paste method for anybody to follow. Not the best method out there, but at least do it right. So we're going to open up the, the backup drive where we have our data stored at, right? And I'm going to scroll down and find that uh, that backup. Actually, that's going to be in the B's here. So backup data to move to Windows 11, right? Here it is. And for this tutorial, I just grabbed pictures and videos to show you. So I'm going to throw this on uh, the, the right side like I did before. And then I'm going to pull up another file explorer. I'm going to shoot that over to the uh, left side. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open on the left side, basically the corresponding areas. If you really want to be safe, you could go through this PC, Windows, find your user folder, right? And then videos to videos, pictures to pictures. Don't drag the whole folder over. Just open it up, right? Find the contents that you want. Like here's all my videos, right? So I could, <laughs> you could see all my my uh, videos that I make here at the house here. And I can grab these and then drag them over to the corresponding areas, right? So like I could open videos here and then mass select all of these and then uh, left click and just like drag them over, right? I'm just gonna do it just to show you guys. So I'm gonna left click, drag it over and there they go, okay? Super simple method removing your data right here okay and i had a duplicate this pops up quite a bit in fact we had a comment about this the other day so i love that this popped up on screen right now um what this is telling me is i already have a file named that and i can choose three options i can either replace the one that was in the the original the destination i'm moving it to so get rid of the original i could skip the file so it doesn't move it or I could compare info for both files to see if they're different and then rename one, okay? I'm just doing this for the tutorial, so I'm just gonna X out and cancel the whole thing because again, I'm, I'm not really planning on keeping this data here. I just did this to be able to show everyone out there how to do it very simply, okay? Again, simple. Sometimes simple is okay. Again, the file, uh, the folders that we talked about, if those are the only ones that you're moving, let me get my laptop out of the way here those are the only ones that you're moving that's okay okay if, if you're just keeping it to those folders we talked about you're not gonna hurt anything it's it's okay to do it that way don't let people down in the comments bash you and put you down for for doing it this way if this is the only way you can figure out how to do it if, if everything else is too complicated um, again you always have our us as a resource my computer works we have been moving people's data from one computer to another you know since we started a long time 20 years plus open um, in business but we also uh, have been doing it a lot lately especially for people moving from Windows 10 to 11 that's what we do numbers always at the beginning into the video and down in the description definitely call us if this gets too confusing I, I don't want you to mess anything up but if you know how to copy and paste and you have an ex you could go buy an external drive and figure this tutorial out by yourself you've got it you can definitely do it you're not gonna hurt anything okay if you enjoyed the video, please hit that like and subscribe down below. Again, sorry if it got a little too lengthy. I try to I try to cut these down, but I also don't want to leave anything out that a you know brand new user or somebody who doesn't know what they're doing could could just follow it along, okay? And try to keep it linear as possible. So if you enjoyed the video, hit that like and subscribe down below. Leave a comment, and I'll see you all on the next one.